What's up guys? Welcome back. Amazing RC. It's your boy Brian and I bet this D12 looks nothing like your D12. Now when we first got our hands on the WPL D12 this was one of those really cool Isuzu carry kind of trucks. Um, I, the first thing I wanted to do was uh, tear it apart and build something really cool out of it. And uh, I had so many great ideas kind of flying through my head. Um, I, you know, track truck, drift truck, you know, the, one of the first videos we put out, basically we put it up to you guys, you know, what should we do with it? Well, I can guarantee none of you had this in mind. Um, we, we ended up choosing track truck and uh, by the end of the build, I, I just wanted to be able to get this out on a track of some type and just tear it up. And, uh, well, we accomplished that by the second or third video. I mean, this D12, just by putting these, you know, WPL, I think these come on the six-wheel drive, uh, e Sheens, e one there's a JJRC, there's a few of them, but... Uh, these are pretty common wheels and all I did was glue them. You know, I just took the tires, glued them on the rims because I knew that they were going to cruise around pretty fast. Uh, the wheels that this D12 actually comes with are right here. And as you can see, they're quite a bit different. Um, well, with a larger wheel comes faster top speeds. First, I thought about, you know, what are we going to do about this stock engine? There's a little tiny motor in here. And uh, I tested it out with the big wheels. I ran it around the house. It never even got warm. So I thought, okay, no problem. We don't have to touch the stock motor. The gearing is fine with the new wheels. Nothing's getting hot. So this is our track truck kind of shooting brake shaped vehicle. Now, to get it here, it took some serious customization. And it's not complete. You remember... We're going to do exhaust, you know, uh, we're going to, we're going to dump some, some really cool, you know, this is that drinking straw I was telling you about. We're going to bend this up just a little bit more, make a cool header action right here. It's going to dump right out the back, do two sets, one on each side. And because this drinking straw has this cool rainbow effect, it almost looks like temperature has gotten to it. So we haven't got a chance to do that yet. I definitely want to get this applique to the bumper because we're still going to light this up with a bunch of LEDs. But this needs to be shaved a little bit to get where the bumper goes because I had to modify the front end of the cab to get it to sit down on the carbon fiber. So that needs to be done. Um, I do have the Velcro on the underside of the cab because remember, this is an FPV car. Well, you guys don't want to see my FPV shot. It's all grainy. I mean, I just got a fat shark scout. So, I mean, that would give, it gives me a headache inside the fat shark. So I don't want to make you guys watch that. We'll put that in the corner, but I'll put this little, you know, GoPro session. This lives inside here, right about there. So it's going to see right out the front end of this thing. Uh, that needs to be installed. Uh, but the amount of work that went into it, I mean, a bunch uh, you are gonna put some halos in it now I don't know if I'm gonna put the halos because there's plenty of room behind here is a nice big cavity behind these headlights we can just put the regular headlights back into it maybe put them on an on and off switch so make them blink and do some cool stuff but it's either gonna be that or I'm gonna drill them up with these halos in there uh, these are really cool blue halos so to get now remember we talked about this um, this is my you know electronics cover for my G made Komodo when I got the kit a long time ago and uh, I ended up it's not waterproof uh, so I ended up buying a, a Traxxas you know uh, electronics box basically those are quite a bit more water resistant uh, and I put that in my Komodo because I was gonna dunk it in rivers and such so that lived in there well it gave me this box now this had a ton of uh, customization to it just to get it to sit on there the whole bottom is completely uh, removed so that it sits over the motor and then it's actually bolted down to the carbon fiber and then all of the the electronics are are packed the receivers actually upside down because you know you got the motor in there so you've got just this little cavity that kind of looks like this 
So the receiver, R6FG, is actually flipped upside down and moved over to the side so the plugs that are plugged into it are firing straight down and then the wires can be routed over the motor and then out to where they need to go. Um, I want to put a hinge because if you can tell, this looks cool. If I can get it to hinge like that in either magnets or Velcro, as soon as it comes down, bam, just right there. I just think that's going to be killer. Right now we've got tape, no hinge. This needs to be mounted. Now, like I said, a ton of work went into just getting this on here. Um, all of this, I wasn't going to have an empty shell with no steering wheel. This is a really cool right-hand drive. I mean, I'm over in the States, so anything right-hand drive is just cool. So I had to make sure that the steering wheel and everything went back into the cab. Uh, I could have kept it out, saved weight, but I didn't want to do that. Uh, so I put that back in. I had to take a ton of stuff. This stuck way down here because to get on the D12 in a stock form, that's where everything kind of bolts into, you know, the chassis itself. So that had to come out. But I'm thinking a hinge back here, if not two screws right where this piece of tape is, will put this together. But I was thinking... If this is an RC car, it still needs to be convenient, you know, to get underneath this, even though I did move the battery here. Now, if I want to remove the battery from where it's at in this spot and put it back where it goes, this tray, I actually glued shut so that it didn't drop out. If you remember, there used to be the spare tire under here, and that was what you would turn to open the battery tray and then the battery would come in and out. We did away with that. What we did was we glued the tray shut so uh, and then moved the battery. But if I ever want to put the battery back in here, I want to make sure that this is hinged. You know, I, I, I just want to be able to get here in case I ever use it. So there's that, or we bolt it down, you know, completely solid, which also would be fine. But once I get the cab either bolted down to this thing or, or whatever, we're going to get out and start actually testing it. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, I remember when I first kind of told everybody this was what I was going to do, because this is the shape. This is, this is the car, you know, aside from kind of frilling it out and you know, uh, painting it and doing all that stuff we just talked about. This is the shape of the vehicle. None of this is going to change, you know. Uh, tell me what you think. I, I, I love it, uh, of course, because it drives, you know, like an Indy car. Uh, I, I, you know, of course, we can go faster. We can put a different motor in it. You know, there's it's endless kind of what we can do now that we have a finished concept and a finished car. But we will be at a track somehow, somewhere, running this through in FPV with the extra camera. So that'll be that video. And then, you guys remember, we got our little SCX24 here. And I, and I was trying to think of what the next big truck we could get. We went and got the SCX-10-3, basically the exact replica of this. We've got the kit version with the clear body, so we're going to go ahead and paint the body. But we should have that coming in about a week, week and a half. Uh, we went ahead and picked that up about two days ago. I think Horizon Hobbies where we got the truck from because they were the only ones that had the clear shell. And then I got a Holmes Hobby motor, a little Hobby Wing 1080 ESC, and a killer 600 ounce like Savox servo. So we really got some cool stuff that's going in that truck. So be sure to check out that as well. That's going to be coming up very, very soon. Um, guys, I'm going to get back to it. Like I said, tell me what you think. We'll get you guys another really, really cool video of something very, very soon. It's Brian. This is Amazing RC.